Hello, once once again we're here and welcome back to another crossout episode and we have a surprise update that was expected to be released in April 1st but we got it four days earlier and you know what there's tons of buffs and nerfs what a surprise <laughs> let's start then they buffed the breaker so as you can see now it's uh, much more durable than porcupine it was 360 before now it's 430 speaking of breaker they changed the perk of the hammerfall okay in a site they said 150 meters but in game it says 200 meters so i don't know which one is true i'm gonna read the in-game version every 200 meter passed by the car give one charge that's spent when shooting and guaranteed to disable the enemy's weapon rotation for half second stacks up two times so i believe before the perk of the hammerfall was activating randomly but now you're gonna use the perk in the first two shots then if you're killing your enemy while you're stationary your perk is not gonna activate ever again but if you're chasing him you might activate it two times more impulse grenade launcher change the perk while the car is not moving the weapon overheats 25 percent slower so if you're stationary you can artillery the enemy like that's the classic thing that grenade launcher players do in the beginning of the match they're angling their launchers upward and they're just spraying towards enemy's location i'm not sure if it's useful for aggressive players and if you're using this weapon with hovers you're not gonna be able to stop as you know hovers cannot stop that means you're not gonna have any perk so i'm considering this change of perk as a nerf also i believe the old perk was better it was disabling enemies weapons rotation same as hammerfall it was in every 10th shot but still it was a good perk the king of the legendaries the throne has been shaken change the perk deals 120 percent more damage to enemies influenced by negative effect and to hit at vehicle parts so before it was taking like five seconds to deal 100 percent damage with harvester but now if you're dealing negative effect or burning the enemy you're gonna be able to deal 120 percent damage directly with your harvester so this will reduce the effectiveness of low power score harvester users and bit increase the effectiveness of high power score users but for high power score users here's the sad thing you're gonna be bit more effective but if you're gonna lose your additional weapon harvester will become so shitty double harvester will deal same damage as double drujba i'm not even kidding like i tested it two harvesters now deals 80 damage but as you can see i'm activating the spark tree now and here it is the 120 percent of more damage i'm dealing three times more damage when using additional weapon i test this perk out with the cord as well cord didn't activate the harvester's perk that means you can activate this perk only with spark tree draco firebug catapults basically every weapon that deals negative effect and burns the enemy so lately perks decreasing effectiveness of weapons it started with the helios now it even striked the king of the legendaries oh boy if they break your draco or spark tree you will deal 80 damage in 10k power score battle can you imagine that guys so that means you're gonna be able to kill maybe two players then yeah someone will take your spark tree out and rest in peace oculus 6 that no one uses maybe they're using it in clan wars but i'm not sure added the display of capcan mines and approximate location of invisible enemies on the map and minimap if they are within range of the radar and here's some movement part buff for track and ogre users so yeah your backward speed is now same as forward congratulations so yeah two of them will deal almost exactly the same damage as two harvesters welcome to the new age to the new age <laughs> what the fuck cross out so you telling me that two harvesters and two drujbas at the exactly the same 
power, you will deal 120% more damage only if enemy is under negative effect or burning. That is really interesting. Like, as I said before, I don't know who makes this perk. I don't know who came up with these ideas, but this guy is a Einstein. Same thing with the Helios. If you remember my Helios video, there's the same trick that they're using in this perk as well. New perks are starting to ruining weapons. I don't know if it's a good sign. Anyway, tell me guys, what do you think about this buffs and nerfs? But yeah guys, that's it for today. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace out.